My name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing. Ride and dies has been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you so much. I love you so much, guys. Thank you so much for your love and your support. New subscribers, thank you. I'm honored and welcome. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right. Um, energy exchange. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you want to um, donate to the channel, it's in the description box. But just know, if whatever you donate in onto this channel, you will get 10, 20, 30, 100 top fold right back at you. And at the same time, anything, any energetic um, energy, negativity, uh, word curses, anything you got coming at me, you know who you are. Anything you got coming at me, 10, 20, 100 times fold, right back at you. All right. <coughs> it is so, so be it. Ah, uh, shay. All right. Okay. So, with that being said, we got that done. Hit the nail, hit the notification bell. Always find out what's going on with the channel. All right. So, I'm going to move on because. Um, but I want to say the energy is fluid. This is a you versus them projected versus the protected reading. All right. Um, the pro, uh, projected is projecting their issues, their mental issues, their wounds, their hurts, their pains that don't have, don't even have anything to do with this person. Um, it's projecting all that blame and all of that on another individual. Okay. It's unwarranted just because this particular individual had enough of this person's negativity and moved on that is projected someone who is projecting that their negativity and their problems onto another the protected is the person who is being protected from this person and their negative negative energy all right okay so with all of that being said we can move on we are honoring the sign of Virgo. All right, Virgo. Virgo, let's get into it. I can't even do anything extra because this here is deep. Um, and I got to do it quickly and I don't know how because this is deep. All right. So project it. The card that you have, you got... I've. Here, dark, dark. So on the outside, you're smiling. You got it going on. You're probably very attractive. Um, it The energy that I'm getting is that on the outside, you, you lure people in by how you look. Your status, money, material things. Um, but once you lure them in, then you, 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 your dark side comes out, right? So what we got for here, we got dark entities. We got dark shadow. We got black magic. We got dark personality, toxicity, the devil, right? We got prison, spiritual prison. It's so much here, but um, projected. Unbeknownst, unbeknownst to you, excuse me. Hold on, hold on a minute. <coughs> Project it. Unbeknownst to you, um, you are in a spiritual, you are in a, a spiritual prison, but you don't know it. Um, God, this is, I have, it's, uh, okay. 
projected. You have done the most malicious, vicious um, things to this person and to others. But the thing about it, the things that you've done to other people, you've gotten away with those things. Um, they were very harsh. It's, it's like you're a very selfish person, self-centered. You um, do things to people um, and don't even think twice about it. It's all about you. It's all about what you need, what you want. It's all about uh, what's going to make you happy, what's going to make you more money, what's going to make be more profitable for you. Um, I'm feeling like you've met your match, not with darkness, but light. You've met your match. You've met the one that you you will not be able to manipulate. I don't care how much black magic you've been doing. You've been doing the most. You've sent this person the most nastiest, vicious. You've this is you you are one of the people who have went to the graveyard. You have done things with blood. You have done, um, you have sent this person entities. You have went after this person's family, their children. You have done the most to this individual. But I got to get you to, I got to get through this quickly. But man, oh man, the things that I see here and things that, you've done it's, and it's no need in you getting mad with me because I don't know you but spirit wants you to know that they know you because what you have done is that you have done you, you don't understand who now I think you do because nothing has worked you know that Nothing has worked with this particular person. And you have did major, major spells and major uh, paid uh, all kind of doctors and witch doctors and hoodoo doctors. And you've paid so many people because you got it like that, right? In some cases, I keep seeing hacking. You're hacked in this person's phone. You're hacked them. You, you've tried so many things to get information for the, from for from for this person, and nothing has worked. Nothing has worked because this particular person was sent to you because the because of the things that you did in the past. The road of destruction that you're on and where you come from and the things that you've done. And now the things that you have done to this person, spirit is still offering you a room of escape. Um, this is a warning. But yet, it's not just a warning. It's a a uh, offer um because let's be clear and i'm being real i'm being real with you and spirit is sitting right here because i can't offer you nothing i'm just a mere mortal a messenger but spirit can offer you everything and i'm trying to say it quickly but whatever it is that you got conjured up whatever it is that you think you're getting ready to do whatever it is that you are focusing on this individual it's not gonna work 
this individual that you are stalking, this individual that you are spying on, this individual that you're riding their back on, they're not just protected. They're not. And because of who you are on the dark side, this person is equal on the light side. But we all know, let's be real again. We all know how this ends. It ends in who gets the victory. So while you on this earth, yeah, you can play these games, but not with this person. This person was sent into your life, made a deal back before they even came down here, made a deal to come into your life to help you. You have come down here. I have to hurry up. But you have come down here so many times and failed that this person, they knew you in a past life. This person volunteered to come down here to help you. So this particular life, time that you will heal and be able to be the person that you are supposed to be in this lifetime. Other lifetimes you have failed. This lifetime you are failing. But spirit is here to give you an offer. How bad do you want it? Because even though you're dark. And have been dealing with dark. It's something within you. That wants you keep riding this person. Keep spying on this person. You keep wanting to get to this person. But the answer is no. You will never ever. Be able to get to this person. Dealing in, dealing in the things that you're dealing with. This is a person of light. They always have been light. They came in this world to shine. They came in this world. They have a mission. They have a calling, a major calling on their life. You came in this world. And you met this person because you too can have the same thing. It's something within you. I got to go. Something within you want this. How bad do you want it? And don't deny it. Yeah, you dark. You're dark. You've done the most. You've done the most. You have hurt a lot of people. Your black magic have destroyed a lot of lives. And you will reap karma from that. However, Spirit will always come after the loss and you're lost. You came down here to be with this person to go into a mission. But you decided again, just like the other lives, to go dark. And this person departed your life because this person has a mission. And with you or without you, they're moving on and they're moving on without you. You've done too much. You will never be able to get this person. You are deciding to go dark. But you know what? You got a chance. Spirit said, take his hand. Your assignment is own up. Own up to what you've done to other people. Own up to it. Look at it. Value it. Look at it and evaluate yourself. See the truth. Stop. Stop <laughs> playing like you didn't do nothing or you're not dark. If you dark, you dark. Stop faking the funk. Let people see who you are. Okay? That's your assignment. But first, 
Be real with you. The second thing is take your focus off this person. Because the more you focus on this person and the more you try to hack in and get into this person's business, the more that the divine, the angels, their ancestors is going to block you and block things in your life and block and place you into a vicious cycle that you won't be able to get out of. Now you're getting a chance to correct some things. But you won't get this chance again if you don't leave this person alone. Stop it. Stop the black magic. Stop the focusing. Stop the digging. Leave this person alone. It's not going to happen. You've done too much. But you know what? If you change your wicked ways, spirit got somebody for you. They already got this person, the spirit got for you, already got your name on them. They already... This person is your person. It's not your person. But you got a person. But you got to do the work. You got to change your wicked ways. You came down here to heal from many lifetimes of destruction. And I'm going to leave it there. Because you already know what I'm saying. You know what I'm trying to say. Basically, bottom line, own it, change it, and leave this person alone. Take your focus off of this person and focus on you and changing your behavior. If you want it, it's yours. That's, that's it. And there it is. Protect it. Protect it. But wait a minute. It's one thing else I got to say to project it. Project it. You in a spiritual prison. You won't be you won't be able to get out until you change your ways. Spiritual prisons are worse than the prison themselves cuz you will not be able to do your black magic successfully. You will not be able to make the money. All of you you'll be limited. Everything is limited when you're in a spiritual prison. The things that you used to be able to do, torment people and all the all of these things will be limited or taken away. Your powers will be taken away. Your um, attractiveness will be taken away. All the things that you used to do before will be taken away while you're up under this prison. And you're not going to be able to get out until you make a final decision what you're going to do this lifetime. There it is. Protect it. Your card is no mistakes. Just happy accidents in friends. What I'm getting from this is that protected. You are bashing yourself. You are, are you if you removed yourself from this this toxic toxic um, relationship. You feel like this person is riding you, pressure. You feel like this person is constantly sending you evil eye. You feel like your life is in shambles. You feel like um, you can't breathe. You feel like um, things are falling apart. Protected. Yes, this person is riding you. Yes, this person is spying. But let me encourage you and let me get you to understand something. You have done one of the hardest things. You have removed yourself from a toxic relationship, a bond, a soul tie. That's one of the hardest things that you can ever do. You did it. You a badass, okay? Because a lot of women, a lot of men, they can't get out of it. They go years, they go lifetimes in these toxic relationships. But you had a determination you had a willpower to break free you saw your worth you saw your value you knew you were worth more than this and better than this so you walked away so with that there's no mistakes you didn't make a mistake when you chose this person this person came into your life as well to teach you your, your teach you your value and not just your value, how powerful you are. 
this black magic that's coming, this this all this stuff this this person is trying to do is only making you stronger. Cause remember what your name is. Protect it. You're protected. If if spirit was not, if spirit wanted you to um, if you, if I'm sure what I'm trying to say is if it wasn't for spirit, if it wasn't for your angels and your ancestors all around, you would be dead. This is how dark this person is. This is, uh, all the stuff this person tried to do and sent to you, you would be dead, but not so you're protected. And this, because you're just because um, these things are happening, maybe it's little things that's you know, you can feel like you can't move forward, you feel like you know, it's like a cloud over you. It may be, but you have everything within you. If you can remove yourself from this, there is nothing that you can't do. You're powerful. I t each protected. I'm going to keep drilling it in your head. You are powerful all by yourself. Do you understand what you have gotten yourself out of? The devil. The devil himself. You removed yourself from the devil himself. You removed yourself from out of that. It was no mistake. This was divinely ordered for you to meet this person because meeting this person shows you who you are, your value, your worth, and everything that comes along with that. The more power, the more you believe about yourself, but the more powerful you are, the more faith that you have in yourself and what's going on within you, the more powerful you are. The more you speak, speak, uh, speak, the more you speak about yourself, speak positive, speak words of affirmations, the more powerful you are, you are. But we do have a problem here. You got to watch your friends. It's somebody or some people around you that's not supposed to be around you. They're stating that they're your friend, but they're really not your friend. And you're going to have to recognize that person. And some of you already know who this person is, but you just don't have, you just don't know how you're going to remove them. Just remove them. Let it go. Remove it. Walk away from it. It's not serving you. It's, it's, this energy is, why it's here is this energy is, Bob is, is disrupting, disrupting what it is that you need to do right now, which is focus on you. Move forward in your life. Turn away from this person. Don't think about this person. Don't even think about the black magic. The black magic is non and void. What you have to focus on is your faith and what you believe here and what you know and what you believe here and what you know. All right? Because this was not a mistake. It really was a blessing in disguise. Because without meeting this person, you would have never known your potential. You would never know who you are. And you never would know what you working with. Because you are forced to be reckoned with. All right? Believe that. And there it is. All right? So for those of you <coughs> that's not interested in the black magic moment, you can click off right now. But I just want to tell you, hit those comments. Send those emojis. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just thumbs. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Love you. Mwah. All right. Your black mo magic moment is declutter. Okay. And it says declutter your home, your life, your cl and clean up. Right. But what I'm getting off of this is declutter your mind. A lot of you is off kilter, off balance, um, because you have a lot of things in your mind. And how you declutter your mind is that the thoughts that come in, if it's not a thought, 
that is right and you know what's right, then you don't accept that thought. You speak to that thought. You declutter your mind one by one, thought by thought. You don't allow the thoughts to just ruminate in your mind that it's confusing. You cause confusion because we already know what you're dealing with. So anything that's coming against your mind could very well be projection from this person, right? So you have to clear, declutter your mind. Declutter your mind and focus. Turn your focus on positivity, positive things, positive people, your goals, your ambitions, things that make you happy, things that make you fulfilled, things that make you complete. You focus on those things. Leave this in behind. Turn your back on this, okay? And declutter your mind. Declutter your home. Clean up. Clean up your life. Clean up. Clean up your friendships and your relationships. Clean it up. Declutter. Okay? Clean clean up your, your, uh, your aura, who around you. Clean all of that up. And when you do that, it will definitely also, too, change your mindset. It frees up energy, more positive energy all around you where you can think positive and see things in a positive uh, dynamic. All right? Okay. So, Virgo, this has been your reading right? Um, hit the comments, send the emojis, let a sister know how she's doing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, just thumbs. All right. It helps the channel. Um, I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, share, 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 share. Don't keep it to yourself. Share guys, share. Um, hit the description box for social media. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you love your way, sending healing your way, and Trinity is.